It was a discovery that took the scientific community by surprise, a virus wiping out superworm populations across the country. Rutgers scientists, using cutting-edge cryo-electron microscopy, uncovered the mysterious culprit. Superworms, prized for their role as a dietary staple for pets and even as a future food source for humans, were dying at an alarming rate. Jason Kalber and Judith Penzies, researchers at Rutgers, embarked on a mission to uncover the cause of the epidemic, and their efforts paid off. Judith, already known for her previous work isolating a virus killing crickets, set her sights on the superworm. After fieldwork in New Jersey pet stores, she returned to the lab with samples. Using a blender and virus purification methods, she successfully identified the virus, Zephobus morio black wasting virus. With Kalber's help, they use cryo-electron microscopy to peer inside the virus, discovering its intricate structure. The protein looked similar to a virus found in cockroaches, yet it was unique, a new member of the parvovirus family. As the virus wreaked havoc on superworm farms, farmers across the nation rallied to help. Their samples provided vital data, allowing the scientists to develop protective strategies, including a potential vaccine. This research holds promise not only for saving beetle colonies but for future viral outbreak management in humans, plants, and animals alike. The breakthrough showcased the power of cryo-electron microscopy in identifying new pathogens. As Kalber noted, in the future, if there's ever a really important outbreak, we're going to want to throw every tool we can at it. It all started with an alarming die-off, superworms, crucial as both pet food, and a potential human protein source, were mysteriously dying across the nation. The culprits. Unknown, until scientists at Rutgers University stepped in. Judith Penzies, a molecular virologist, began her investigation by visiting pet stores in New Jersey, where she discovered infected superworms in nearly every container she opened. With the store owner's support, she took samples back to her lab, determined to uncover the cause. In the lab, Penzies used a simple magic bullet blender to turn the superworm carcasses into a slurry, which she then processed to isolate the virus. When she shined a fluorescent light on the centrifuge tube, it glowed blue. I got you, she whispered, knowing she had found the virus. Partnering with fellow scientist Jason Kalber, they used cryo-electron microscopy to analyze the virus's structure. This advanced technique allowed them to freeze the virus so quickly that no ice crystals formed, enabling a sharp, three-dimensional view of its protein makeup. What they found was astonishing, a new virus, unlike anything previously sequenced or imaged, now named the Zephobus morio blackwasting virus. It belonged to the parvovirus family, similar to a virus affecting cockroaches but distinct in its deadly impact on superworms. The discovery offered more than just answers for superworm farmers. It proved that cryo-electron microscopy could play a vital role in identifying new pathogens quickly, a breakthrough that could revolutionize outbreak management in the future. As they continue developing a vaccine to protect beetle colonies, Penzies and Kalber hope their work will offer a new way to combat emerging viral threats, in animals, plants, and even humans.